Well, we are going to bring it on right now. We're going to start with Douglas, and he writes in, I really want to be confident that when I die, I'll be in heaven. I can't think of anything more important. How can I know for sure that I'm saved? Should I feel differently than I did before? I'm confused. What do you think? Well, um, you've got to believe the Word of God. You know, John 5, 24, you know, he that hears my word and believes on him that sends me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but is passed from death into life. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible is filled with those promises, and you need to stop playing with it and just say, look, I believe it. I'll take it. I now. I tell you what, now I don't want to say that's true, but you may have some sin in your life. You may not have confessed, you know, who you are and what you've done. Get right with God. If you're still playing around with something, if you're doing something that's sinful, you will not have a confidence in your heart. If the Bible says, if my heart condemns me, then God's greater than my heart. But if I it does not condemn me that I have confidence before God. So ask yourself, what am I doing? And, and I'll give you the word. The Bible says that you can believe it, but in your own life, don't hold back. All right. All right. Debbie says, do I need to tithe on my inheritance? Well, I think so. I mean, the inheritance is, hey, you've got a million dollars extra coming to you, so you give $100,000 to the Lord, and you've got 900000 It's all yours. It's tax-free, and you can enjoy it. I think I, I would say yes. All right. I definitely would. I mean, because it's not yeah. something you pay taxes on. Sure. All yeah. right. Ben says, I've been a Christian my whole entire life. There have been days when I've asked God why things have happened to me. I never even seem to get an answer. Why does he seem silent? I want to do what God wants me to do, but I need his direction. Uh, listen, God will move heaven and earth to keep you from being misled. So what you do is surrender to him. You say, Lord, I surrender to you. I, I'm, I'm yours totally. I'll do whatever you say. Please lead me. And believe me, God will move heaven and earth to keep you from being misled. He will answer that prayer. All right. And Valerie says, my husband and I have been married for four years, and he drinks alcohol about five to six days a week. When he has too much, he becomes verbally abusive and says very degrading things to me. Then we'll go two to three days and not even speak. I also caught him viewing pornography, but, but now that he knows I know, he erases his browsing history. I've prayed over this matter during the past four years and have been counseling with him, and I've gone alone as well. The stress is affecting my health. I think it might be best for us to separate, but I need some godly counsel. Please help. All right, here it is. Uh, I, I don't think God intends you to live in a situation like that. I think your husband's playing with it. I don't know if he knows the Lord or not, but I think the time has come for an ultimatum to say, look, I'm not going to stand for this pornography. I'm not going to stand for your drunken tirades. I'm not going to be the subject of your abuse. I'm not going to do it. And uh, we go to counseling or else I'm going to ask for a degree of separation. That doesn't necessarily mean you divorce him, but it does mean that uh, uh, you are separated from this. You, you shouldn't have to live under that kind of torment. God calls us to peace. He doesn't call us to constant warfare. And, uh, but I, I think you, you lay it on the line. This guy is playing games. And uh, he's using you as a foil. He, he perhaps shouldn't be married. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But uh, I, I know he, he apparently doesn't know the Lord. So lay out something for him, okay? Well, that's good advice. All right. Four years is a long time to be praying and living with that well, situation. I, you don't do it. You just say, look, yeah. I, I'm out of here. And, you know, and, and I, I'm going to ask for a degree of separ uh, decree of separation. You can get that short of a divorce. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, great uh, answers. Wonderful to be with you. Hey, listen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this kid's going over to that Mount Everest <laughs> over in Nepal. Nepal, Kathmandu. Kathmandu of all places. I love that name. And we want to pray for her. You know, she, she's a good kid. She won't want her to be back. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I will come well, back. All right. Our paramedic <laughs> comes from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted on the earth.